This is a quick video demonstration of the Access Control standard version software for iDetect Access Control. For this demonstration, I have an iDetect LX007 reader. I'm just going to show you some of the features of the software, what you can find, and, and some of the configurations I have set already. This is the landing page. There's two components of this software. There is a server communication, which is right here, and this is what you have to fire it up and configure first and there is the software right here okay once you open it it communicates with the server communication portion of it and then you can configure your devices as you can see here on the uh, on the bottom right corner I, all of the devices are connected so this is the main landing page where all of your configurations are going to have to be done first so you can click on the device uh, setting wizard and then you have your your site or basically where the software needs to be pointed to. This is my IP address of my computer and this is all there is to it. This is very important to do otherwise the software will not communicate with the uh, server part of it. You can configure here, you know everything is step by step. You have to configure your buildings, you know if you have uh, a different building that you wanted to configure different floors you can do so. You can just click the plus and it says you want to for a new write yes. I can put here, let's say, the building is Tech Pro Security, and I can assign, let's say, the first floor, or many floors. And all I have to do is just save it. That's it. Very simple. So then I can configure the sites. This is basically the communication between the software and the server portion of it. You have to have this done uh, correctly, otherwise you cannot configure any of the settings. Then you can configure your loops, which pretty much is the devices that you're connecting to and how you're connecting to them. The LX007 connects via TCP or network, and I have to configure that. So you can search for the device that there is on the network, and then just double click and then register it. And that, that's it, that's pretty much it. The device itself, you will configure how the device is gonna work. I already pre-configured this, so this is a one door device that only supports one door, and then I can set how the operation mode is, the control options, biometric settings. There is many things that you can configure in each of the devices depending on the device. Like you see here, I cannot click this options because this device doesn't support that. Your door settings. Here is you're going to configure how the uh, device is going to work, meaning how long the, the door can stay on for three seconds or for 10 seconds. The auto lock time, so after certain hours of the day, you want the device to uh, lock the doors automatically so you don't have to do anything else. Uh, obviously, when you leave the premises, it's recommended to just lock it, you know, if you have a key, obviously, to lock it. How the biometric part of the device is gonna work, if you're gonna use only proximity reader or proximity reader with a combination of a keypad or only biometrics. This is the operator mode as well. There's many features here you can configure. I can't go in depth of, of what each of these settings do, but i just showing you a really quick overview of the software. Your timing slot, uh, you basically, you can assign different time slots for different people. For example, for your employees, you want it from nine to six, for example. And then for your managers, you want it to have a 24 hour period so they can enter the premises at any time time schedule here. This is basically where and how they are going to be allowed to enter the premises. So you have a, a basically a timing code and that timing code will be assigned to either the employees or any group you assigned on your database. For example, my managers, they can enter the premises at any time, uh, 24 hours, no problem, you know, Monday through Sunday if they need to. The access groups, this is basically where, you know, the groups on your company. So let's say you have a technical support department, they're going to be able to open or allow to certain doors, for, you know, which reader is going to be tied to that uh, group as well. Uh, there's many features you can configure in there. And this is basically where you configure the car holders. So your employees, this has to be here done at this section. And then all of that information can be pushed through the network after you have entered all of the information through it. There is an option here that says send because the reader doesn't have that information. You can also do it from the reader, but it's more complex. So I'd rather do it here and I can set up, you know, a batch of users and then send all of that information 
through the network to the device. So there's many configurations here. There's many tabs that you can play with them. There are you know, some reports if you need to pull up some reports. And finally, there is uh, the help button right here. And here you can see, if you click on it, you will see the manual of the device, or you can go to ID Tech's website and or call us, and then we can help you with any of the configurations of the equipment. I hope you like this video, and thank you for watching.